Today, I want to talk about code injection, which is kind of interesting. This is the Blue Bottle operating system, and it comes with various demos. Here is a fractal running on different numbers of processes. Here is a 3D menu. But the one we're interested in today is the Turing demo, which is a simulation called Turing because um, Alan Turing in the 1940s wrote a paper where he suggested that the coat patterns of various animals could be explained by a reaction diffusion process occurring during embryogenesis. And uh, this involved a set of usually two differential equations and at least two reactants uh, diffusing and reacting across a two-dimensional sheet. And it's sort of interesting. Uh, this is basically a real value of cellular per automaton in two dimensions. And I wrote it. But, I thought it would be interesting to look at code injection as it applies to this. Now, where's the code that generates this pattern? Well, there are two large matrices of reals, the size of the image, and a complicated series of update rules which involves looking at the neighborhood of a particular cell and how much of the two reactants are in it, and how much of each of the two reactants is generated or destroyed during that instant, or across that instant. And here is the code that actually the inner loop, first the neighborhood, is calculated, and then the rules, the update rules are here. Uh, this block just ensures that the sock, the, the edges are clamped to zero. I may wrap around and forget. Uh, and here are the rules which actually change. Well, in the beginning, the actual rules which updated the matrices were inserted here, just as lines of code. But we see now that there are rules that apply. So we take rules which take the two meshes and the neighborhood of a given point and return a value for that point in each of the two meshes. And the reason it's done that way, if we look over here, we have defined a type called rule. Type, you know, Brian, this begins a section where we're defining types. Killer message is defined and rules defined. And let's pay attention to this. A rule is a type. It's a type which is exported from this module. That is to say, it's visible outside this module to the system. And it says a rule is a procedure type. It's a procedure that takes ABC real constant. That is to say, they're not variables. They don't change. During the, the procedure can't change them. And constant i, j, long int, or just int long integers, integers, and returns a real. You would call it a function in some languages because it, you know, it returns a value. As many procedures don't, they return their result in variable parameters. But this is important that it ex this is exported. So other, other modules can know what these rules are. Now, and a couple default rules are defined in this module. Here's one of them. Here's a default rule. Notice that the signature of the default rule is the same as that rule type. Although it isn't actually defined as being of that type. But the system figures out during compilation that they are in fact the same type. I think you could also declare it as simply that type 
and this signature would just doesn't have to appear where the rule is defined. In any case, um, it returns a. It takes three reals in. It returns a plus c over 80 minus b times b. The rule could refer to i and j, which are the matrix positions of the cell that's being updated. And that you need that if you wanted, for instance, to have a rule which applied differently, you know, linearly, say, across i and j, or as any function of i and j. If you wanted to refer to the position of the cell in the rule, which you'd need if the rule wasn't symmetrical across, not symmetrical, not isomorphic. I don't know what word I'm looking for. And uh, here's the rule. And this rule defines how much of the first mesh. This rule generates the first mesh. This second rule generates the second mesh. Think of this rule as uh, the first mesh is containing a promoter which catalyzes the production of more of itself. And the second rule is defining the creation of a um, poison, which poisons the first one. <laughs> so notice that the poison has to, well, never mind. Anyway, it's a promoter and a poison that exist in complex relationship. So if we look over, we see that they're re it's constantly like catalyzing the production of more of itself and leaving a burned over region where the poison, which you, you can't see the poison, where the poison is in greater concentration. In any case, if we wanted to change that rule, we change this 0.35 to an 0025 and compile, and we've compiled it. Notice that nothing happens. This doesn't change. That's because it's using the old code. It's not using the new code we just compiled, in which the rule is different. To get it to use the new code, we have to free the module, this module, turn code window, and open another example. So here we have the window opening it, with, running with a new rule. So this is static code. I just recompiled it, shut it down, started it up again after freeing, and it's running the new rule. But suppose that I wanted to keep this window up, these matrices up, these values of from mesh 1 and mesh 2, I want to leave them the same, and on a particular step, a particular generation, I just want to change the rule. How can I do that? It's statically compiled code. Well, it can be done with code injection, which won't come as a surprise probably to anyone who's sophisticated in these matters. But it came as sort of a surprise to me when I thought, I wonder if I could do that. And it turns out you can do that. So here's another module, Turing 1. And it imports the first module and modules. Oh, threat. Undo. I didn't want to do that. I wish to undo it. Okay. It, it defines rule one and rule two. So I can, and here we see that rule one is somewhat different. It's A plus C over 10 minus B cubed. Anyway, they're different. And there's a procedure inject. Inject is the only procedure exported by this module. And it's exported to permit us to click on a piece of text like this text. This text, by the way, is outside the module. The module ends right here. If I...